In this tutorial we're going to have a look at local variables in Python methods. In the previous video in this playlist we had a look at this computer program here which we can see has a current account class and within the class we have the three methods that you can see here. Now on this slide we create an instance of this class and the instance will look something like this in the diagrammatic form that I like to use when I'm thinking about objects. And of course this particular object will have the name account holder and within this particular object we will have the method initialization and we'll have the two class level variables which we can see a self.name and self.balance and the other two methods will also appear. And of course when we use this line here to create the instance this Rita Jones will be passed to here and Rita Jones we can see appears here. And this particular line well that's going to set the other instance variable to zero as we can see there. And of course these two lines will now print out the following. The customer name is Rita Jones. Now that Rita Jones appeared here because of this message and of course this message invoked this particular method and this particular method is this one here and that returns self.name of course self.name we know holds Rita Jones and this particular line here was responsible for outputting this and of course this zero came from this message because this particular message invoked this method and this method we see here and of course it would return self.balance which we can see is the zero that appears in the output. I'm now going to amend the program we've just been concerned with and the amendment is shown on this particular line. Previously this line was self.balance is assigned zero and clearly here we can see that it's just saying balance is assigned zero. In other words I've removed the self. Dot. Now what this has done it's made this variable balance a local variable to this particular method. Now if we now reflect back on what's meant by scope and I've covered this earlier in the playlist it means that this particular variable can only be accessed by the code that appears in this method here. It cannot be seen by the code in these two methods for example. Now of course on this line you can say I'm returning self.balance but of course self.balance no longer exists because I've got balance here instead of self.balance and that makes the difference. So let's see what actually happens here. We get this and we will get the first line the customer name is Rita Jones. Now the reason for that is this particular line created the instance and made the name Rita Jones and on this line what happened this message will have actually invoked this method which we see here defined in the class and of course this is returning self.name and self.name was assigned on this particular line and of course we know Rita Jones was passed to here this was Rita Jones which is assigned to self.name so it had no problem outputting this string but of course when we come to this line what this is doing this message it's going to invoke this method and this method is this one and it's going to try and return self.balance. Of course, I have removed that. So you may think, oh, well, can it not gain access to this one then? And the answer is no, because it's named differently, first of all, because it's called balance, not self.balance. And we get this here. And it says, attribute error, current account object has no attribute balance. In other words, if we want an attribute, we have to stick in front of the word balance self dot and then obviously the name balance so we can see that python throws up an error when we do this now that is not to say that we cannot put local variables inside methods we can and this is how we do it it's just for the logic of this particular program it doesn't make any sense now often people forget this and they do not put self dot and they believe they can just use something like this balance and they will say oh it's not working 
I have got an error, so I am going to come here and I'm going to return and I'm going to amend this and I'm going to put the word balance. Why do they do that? Well, because they see the word balance here and they somehow think, well, that's what I'm trying to get at. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to amend this program again, as you can see here. And the amendment is on this line, I've removed the self full stop. I've left this line the same, which is not correct for the logic of the program but this is still valid in the sense that this is a local variable it just doesn't work for the logic of this particular program and let's run this now and see what happens well we still get this line here the customer name is Rita Jones so that bit of the program didn't throw up any problems but here we can see that we have an error and if we come down to this line it says name error name balance is not defined now it's pointing the mistake out here you see this is saying return balance and this method saying well I can't see a balance anywhere the fact that the balance appears here makes no sense to this method that's because when it appeared here it was local to this particular method and it means all the other methods in the class or in the instance of the class they cannot see this variable because this variable is local so when you are actually designing your classes which you know you're going to have objects based on, you need to be quite clear as to the difference between class level variables and local variables. Now, I have introduced the local variables here as throwing up mistakes in a program we've already seen, just to contrast and allow us to concentrate on, well, what is the difference between them? And hopefully this has shown you what the difference is. However, of course, there will be occasions when you will need local variables in the same way as you need local variables in functions these are methods they are if you like special functions they are functions that belong to instances of classes how do I know that well because you can see I put self everywhere and if you put self there you know you're dealing with methods not functions in this video tutorial I've really looked at the difference between an instance variable and a local variable and I've shown how errors can appear in your code if you don't realize that there is a difference now I don't want the fact that I've talked about having a local variable causing these errors as if somehow we shouldn't have local variables in methods we most certainly will have local variables within methods they are used typically to hold intermediate results when you're working through the code that appears in individual methods in the same way as local variables are useful in functions they're also useful in methods check out the supporting website for these videos and also consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and the Google Plus circle that relates to these videos in addition why not follow me on Twitter as I issue a tweet every time I upload a new video